Good evening. There's fresh controversy over HS2 tonight, with the spending watchdog the National Audit Office casting doubt over the project. It claims the high-speed rail line linking the Midlands to London and the North has a massive £3 billion black hole in its finances. In a moment, we'll be getting reaction from Westminster, but first, here's Charlotte Grant. High-speed rail, the project hailed as an engine for jobs and growth. But will it be worth the money? Well, now the country's spending watchdog has cast doubt on its economic benefits. A National Audit Office report says there's a massive hole in the finances to the tune of £3.3 billion. On whether it will deliver on growth and jobs, the Audit Office says it has reservations. And with work set to start in 2016, the timetable, according to the report, is challenging. The report centres on the first phase of HS2 from London to Birmingham, but it also questions the business case for phase two, the Y-shaped network from Birmingham to Manchester, which cuts through the heartlands of Staffordshire, but with no stations in the county. For people living in its path, it's not just taxpayers' money, but their livelihoods at stake. For those in Burton Green in Warwickshire, today's report was music to their ears. The National Audit Office have basically just agreed with almost everything that we've been saying for the last three years. The government cannot deliver on the promises it's making and when you add on the, the extra costs that they've identified, when you add on the fact that they've missed out VAT, you're now looking at a total bill of £53 billion. And today the government's come out fighting, saying there is a strong case for HS2 and local businesses agree. Is it good for our economy? Yes. Is it going to create jobs? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Is it going to connect Birmingham and the region up to more prosperity? Absolutely. There's nothing in today's numbers that should worry us. They are just big projects. You know, when we built the M1, no one really knew quite what it was going to do for us. But could we imagine life without it now? And for good business, good transport links is everything. The, the prize for us is that government has said Birmingham Airport will have a railway station. It will be the fastest railway station in the country, effectively, or the fastest line in the country serving that station. So of course we want it because we believe in connectivity. Making Birmingham even more connected is the best connected airport today, but HS2 effectively shifts it 70 miles closer to London. We get a benefit of the London impact, but also we can improve the, the opportunity for Midlanders. We are still many years from being able to catch an HS2 train. Plenty of time for more arguments. Charlotte Grant. ITV News. So where does this leave HS2 and its progress through Parliament? Well, just last week, the starting gun was fired with two bills in the Queen's speech to pave the way. So does today's critical report by the spending watchdog stop it in its tracks? Here's our political correspondent, Alison McKenzie, with her assessment. The first thing to say is that this is an authoritative report from the government's official spending watchdog. So what it says matters. Labour tonight describing the findings as a worrying wake-up call to the government. But there is all party support officially here in the House of Commons and it's MPs who will decide whether HS2 goes ahead, not the bodies who report to them or who scrutinise what's going on. So the reaction of the government tonight. Well, we spoke to the Rail Minister, Simon Burns. I think it's more a situation where they have used a business case and life has moved on significantly since that. And I think that when the next business case is published in the autumn, one will see that things will fall into place more. But it won't be easy for the coalition to push through with the plans. Yes, the Queen's speech has signalled their intentions to get through a bill and all the legislation required, but we know of the opposition by protesters, as was in Charlotte's report, but also the MPs along the route, many of them Conservative. Andrew Bridgen is concerned. He's fought the proposals all the way. He'll be one of those possibly voting against it. These were his concerns tonight. In North West Russia, we've got uh, the tunnel, if it ever happens, extended under the airport. That's going to cost another £110 million. Probably puts that tunnel to something in the region of £400 million total cost. If that's one small tunnel in one part of my constituency, how can the project be delivered for £33 billion? It's impossible. 
Ministers are well aware of what happened on the West Coast mainline fiasco, the tough criticisms there of the role of the Department for Transport. So maybe they will argue the National Audit Office report will help them uh, rethink things. The spending, the plans is all up in the air. That's the point of long discussions in Parliament. So they want to see it through. They say it will go through, but it will not be quick and it will not be easy.